You're taking a live look now outside the Madison County Courthouse. Today, lines wrapped around this building as people dropped off their absentee ballots in person. Absentee and mail-in voting is how Alabamians can early vote this election. No excuse early voting is against Alabama state law. Way 31's Megan Reyna learned why the Secretary of State is confident in Alabama's current voting process and why one activist disagrees. Megan. Yeah, Dan, according to the National Conference of State Legislators, 43 states have some sort of early voting, including Alabama with absentee ballots, but only 34 states have no excuse early voting, and it has some people questioning, why not Alabama? Well, it doesn't work in Alabama because it's against the law. You'll still see lines wrapped around the Madison County Courthouse as people wait to turn in their absentee ballot. <laughs> More people taking part in this form of early voting than ever before. We actually have had 286,000 absentee ballot applications successfully submitted and more than 221,000 absentee ballots successfully returned. But Secretary of State John Merrill says if lawmakers decided to change the current law prohibiting no excuse early voting, it would cost the state more money and would it make a huge impact on voter turnout? It should be noted that currently uh, for the sixth consecutive election, we've broken records for voter participation with the way that the laws are currently written in the administration of the election in its current form. However, voting activist Fred Whitlow II believes lawmakers should continue to expand voting access. He's been working all summer and fall to get people registered to vote and has seen firsthand how early voting options have helped encourage people to take part. The majority of our country is doing it. The majority of those that are engaged are finding success. And not only that, but there's not only more participation, but there's also more resources. And it's a change that both Republicans and Democrats can get behind. Limestone County Republican Party Chairman Noah Wall says the local party doesn't have an official stance on the issue, but he personally would support changes in order to make voting easier for people. The Madison County Democratic Chairman and State Representative Anthony Daniels feels the same. In fact, he said Representative Thomas Jackson introduced a bill expanding early voting, but it never made its way to a committee. However, both Merrill and Governor K. Ivy insists Alabama's voting process works the way it is. Why would you want everybody to pay for the convenience of a few? Come November 3rd, employers are required to give employees time off to cast their vote. The employee just has to give a reasonable notice and they have up to an hour to do so. Reporting live in Huntsville, Megan Reyna, Way 31 News.